taking up on what Italians were saying, uh, you know, on Twitter, they were consistently saying, and experts were saying, France is around nine days behind Italy. And everybody, uh, you know, Italians were just saying, pay attention to us, take this seriously. And uh, I, I have to say, I, you know, I agree with uh, Chris that uh, the level of testing uh, we, if we any lesson has to be learned uh, from this uh, pandemic, is is the fact that testing measures have to be put in uh, very quickly and 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 cover a widespread area. In France, uh, uh, President Macron, there is a a, a number that uh, people can dial into fifteen, and uh, people who have used it have reported tremendous amounts of hurdles to even reach somebody. There are long waits. Uh, you are not being tested unless you have very serious symptoms. At that stage, you probably have come into contact with a lot of people. So uh, there is there is no doubt that, you know, instead of really talking about how the national character of the citizens are, it's actually much more a stress test on how authorities have been responding to this. Because I think the citizens with this pandemic, uh, you know, they are not into a conspiracy. You know, there are some obvious people who deny, etc. But by and large, I think the seriousness of this uh, is understood. 